Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get our animal oracle cards and look at what you may be struggling with, what you may need to look at, and possible future energies coming in for you. So what's coming in for you? So what are you possibly struggling with? The miracles are endless. What do you need to look at? Know your worth. What's coming in for you? Transformation is beautiful. Love that. Bottom of the deck. Clear out the clutter. All right, so what you may possibly be struggling with is cow spirit. The miracles are endless, and sometimes I feel like you've kind of, like you've lost hope. You're wondering, where are my miracles? When are things going to start happening for me? Why do I see other people having things happen, but they're not happening for me? What you may need to look at is knowing your worth. Are you saying, this isn't going to happen for me. This only happens for other people. I'm not good enough. Are you putting negativity out because you're in this frustration of the miracles are endless and you're not being able to see that? That are you putting out that negativity that you need to focus on knowing your worth and saying, yes, I deserve this, I deserve that, I deserve the best. Changing your perspective to be more positive, to manifest, to bring those things in can bring in a lot of transformation, right? Transformation is beautiful. To look yourself in the mirror and say positive things to yourself and to keep repeating that and to do those actions to reward yourself for the accomplishments that you're making, for the things that are happening. I'm so proud of myself because I looked in the mirror and I said a positive thing to myself. I'm so proud of myself because I didn't get frustrated because something didn't happen the way that I thought it was going to, but I told myself it's going to happen when the time is right, that I'm changing my perspective about things. I'm not getting frustrated and irritated with myself. Clearing out that clutter that if you're thinking negatively, why are you thinking that way? Is that a habit that you've been doing? Is that something that you need to change? All right, so let's get some more cards here. I'm kind of feeling like I want some different cards. Let's change it up. Let's use these. You know me. If you've been watching me, I just kind of go with the flow. I don't have any plan. I just wing it. Wing a wing it. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Struggling. Emotions. Giving up. Not feeling that passion. Not feeling that direction. Feeling like you're alone. Feeling let down. Having a lot of ups and downs. Have this volcano here, right? Feeling anger, feeling hurt, feeling frustration, giving up. King of, King of Cups can be somebody who just doesn't care. That you've given up in the miracles. You've given up on positivity. That you're surrounding yourself with negative energy. What do you need to look at? What do you need to look at? What do you need to look at? Knowing your worth, how important you are, what a good person you are, everything that you deserve, the relationship that you have with yourself, the relationship that you are surrounding yourself with, the people that you have around you, are those supportive, positive people? Or are those people, are they in that negative frame of mind? Do they say negative things? Do they focus on the negative or do they fo focus on the positive? 
Are you in a relationship that you feel that you're feeling held down, that that person is trying to, do they say negative things to you? You have to look at your relationships that you have around you and the relationship that you have with yourself. You need to look at a new start. You need to look at changing things up. You need to look at focusing on the positive. Future energy. Future energy coming in for you. I love it. Future energy coming in for you. Future energy coming in for you. Okay. Positive change and transformation is on the way. I feel like it has to do a lot with your emotions, with your, your outlook, with your feelings. I also feel like it's hanging in there for the change, for the positive. Hang in there for this Knight of Pentacles, which is good things are headed your way. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like it has to do with a lot of your friendships that you're surrounding yourself with, making sure that they're positive, supportive friends that you can rely and you can trust on. For some reason, I'm feeling that there's someone around you or people around you that are that are keeping you kind of in this energy here, and that's what you need to look at. I feel like you need a new start with something, a new direction with something, and that will help you also with that relationship that you have with yourself. By doing that, that brings in this transformation, and it feels beautiful, it feels happy, I'm looking at her yellow flowers there that feel bright and exciting. Reaching out to those people that you feel that you can connect with, like those friends that are in that same frame of mind, that frame of mind that you want to get into. And reaching out to those people and connecting and surrounding yourself with those people. Even if it's just one person. All right. Nine of Swords, are you worrying about things that you can't control? Sometimes when we put a lot of worry and stress on ourselves, that we're only hurting ourselves, we're not hurting the other person, that you're worrying and stressing that when are things going to happen for me, but it's, I feel like it has to do with your perspective. I also feel like it's letting go of those people that are holding you back around you. I'm feeling strong energy that are they in that same energy of worrying and stressing about things. Sometimes we don't even realize that the people that we're surrounding ourselves, that their energy is rubbing off on us. And do we want to be around those people that this negative energy rubs off or it's positive energy that rubs off, right? Because that's, that's kind of making you shut down. But you have to turn that around and focus on me, what's important to me? I, that's what was going through my head. I feel like that's what he's saying is, what's important to me? What matters to me? What is valuable to me? Devil card. Releasing toxic energy, believing in yourself, coming into your, your own power, not following the fool's gold anymore. Not following false paths, false directions, false hope, lying. S someone who doesn't follow through with what they say. Is that someone that you're surrounding yourself with? Is somebody who doesn't follow? They give it false promises. I feel like that's false promises. Is what you need to look at is someone giving you false promises and they say what they think you want to hear. I just feel like there's that person is around you for some reason. What else do you need to look at? Your own strength and your own power and your own direction and what do you want to have happen? What else do you need to look at? Emperor Aries could be Aries. But I feel like this is you coming into your own power here. We have the Queen of Swords, finding solutions, finding directions, finding answers, solving problems. New beginnings, new starts. I love it. Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, 
things start to happen for you. I love this card because the coin is falling into this person's hand, right? You can see the action of the coin is very clear and it's falling into this person's hand because things start to happen for you and the miracles start to become en endless, right? Things, you're making adjustments with what you're surrounding yourself, your environment, your environmental adjustments that you realize that things need to be changed. Things, to, something needs to change. You realize your worth. You clear out the clutter. What is the clutter? Like I've said before in some of my readings is sometimes we have triggers, we have pictures, we have knickknacks, we have those things that when we look at those that triggers us in a negative way for whatever, you know, we all have our own reasons why certain things will trigger us. And sometimes we have those in our environment or we have them in our sleeping space and we see those and it reminds us of something that is negative or doesn't make us happy. Maybe it's time for you to, to kind of pack those things up and put them in a box, put them in the garage, put them in the attic, sell them, donate them, give them to somebody else to hold on to so that you're not being triggered by those things all the time. You're clearing out that clutter and you're not seeing that. And maybe it's, you know, getting something that when you look at it, it makes you smile. It brings you a smile to your face. It makes you happy. Um, that it makes you feel more positive and in a good mood. And maybe that's what those things are that you can start with. And then starting to look at the relationships that you have around you. All right. So let's grab one of these learning tarot cards. Choice, right? The choice is yours. We have the two of wands. Choice. What is your choice? Do you want to stay in the energy where you are, where you're not believing that the miracles are endless and that you don't know your worth? Two paths, decisions, options, planning. Grass is always green around the other side. Um, deciding to stay or go. Um, what is your choice? What do you want to do? It's up to you. You are in charge of your life. You are in charge of what you surround yourself with. The choice is yours. All right, so let's close out. We have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Soul searching, looking within. What do I need to change? What do I need to do? If I want things to be better and I want to believe the miracles are endless, what are those things that I can do to make those changes? What do I need to walk away from? What do I need to start embracing my own power? All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.